So in this video, I just wanted to do a quick look at some of the best refill alternatives for the Fisher Bullet Space Pen or Space Pen Bullet Style. It's this one right here. It uh, seems to be very popular, especially in the everyday carry community. It's small, it's compact, and when you have the uh, clip or the uh, cap mounted, it's actually not a uh, not an uncomfortable pen to use. So uh, this pen uses a refill called the Fisher PR4, and this is a great all conditions ballpoint. But if you're not, you don't need the all conditions if you're just writing on paper inside, then it's not always in an ideal refill, and uh, not everyone likes it for day to day use. So just want to do uh, explore some other alternatives, keeping in mind that it uses a non-standard size. Basically it's on the short side and it's very narrow in diameter. So it's really not that easy to replace. The most popular op option out there seems to be people wanting to convert from a ballpoint refill to a gel style refill. And they get the refill from this pen, which is the Zebra, it's a little hard to make out but it's the G301. It's a cheap pen, sells for like uh, maybe about three to four dollars and it comes with a free refill in addition to the one in here. It's not a bad pen, it's just like, you know, nothing too special. Actually, uh, I think it's pretty cool. But it uses a gel refill that is not particularly long. So what you can do is you can get this and clip a little bit of length from the end and literally just do it with uh, scissors or a sharp knife or something like that. And this is it right here. When I clip down, you put it in your Fisher space pen and you don't want to trim it too short. That's sort of the key here, but uh, it's really a perfect fit. And what makes it a good fit is that it's not too long for this tiny little body and that it is a really good fit for the diameter right here. So you don't want this, uh, this cone right here. You don't want that refill to wiggle at all in the body. So that, that fit is really important. And this is just about perfect. And in fact, you could see here, I could have trimmed, you know, maybe, uh, maybe a millimeter off of the end and had it a little bit less exposed. Uh, but that just comes down to personal preference. And again, now we're moving over to a gel refill. So as we move along, I'll just write down what we're testing with and you can choose for yourself what the best option is. And this is the refill from the Zebra G. It's a nice refill, writes well. Uh, and again, you are moving to gel which a lot of people prefer. It's just not as good in uh, sort of all weather conditions. Won't write well on a slick surface, uh, not great on uh, plastic or anything like that. Whereas this ballpoint will write on pretty much anything. It's, it's great if you leave it in your car and your car is 100 degrees or uh, you have to write when it's uh, you know freezing cold outside and so on and so forth. Another refill option that works really well is the Chronix Hybrid. These are a little bit hard to find. I know they're not that popular. Uh, and this is actually the refill I chose or recommended people use with their Fisher AG7 or CH4. That's the, uh, the Space Pen, which isn't nearly as popular as the Bullet Style Pen, but they are really great. Uh, and those also use a PR4 refill, so getting an alternative refill in those are a big challenge. And I already cut this one down again. I just, again, got scissors, chopped it down. This one I went a little bit too short uh, when I cut down, but it actually, actually ended up being a really good fit for the uh, bullet style space pen. So you can see it closed easily, secure fit, and just about perfect there. Maybe you'd want it a little bit longer, but I think that's just about perfect and a little bit of wiggle, but we're talking about a fraction of a millimeter here. So pretty ideal. And again, this is the uh, Chronix Hybrid. And I believe it is a 1.0 millimeter. 
I don't like this refill or this uh, ink as much as I do the Zebra, but it is an option. Given how hard it is to find, I wouldn't spend too much effort tracking it down. Two other options in case you're looking or you have some refills lying around, you could use this S-7S refill from, I believe it's from Platinum, uh, and this one works pretty well. Pretty good fit, not perfect, uh, but it'll get the job done. And, uh, sorry, this is from Uniball, S-7S from Uniball, or you could use this right here, which is the, this is from Platinum. This is the BSP-60S. And this refill is a pretty okay fit. Uh, this one is, you know, it's available on Japanese retailers that sell refills, but it's not like uh, something you're gonna find uh, too universally, whereas the Zebra, you could buy in pretty much any big box store, so it's a really valuable option. Uh, here you can see good length and a little bit of wiggle. Might be hard to pick up on the camera. There's a little bit, not enough to be a problem, but definitely more than the Zebra. And this is the Platinum BSP. Uh, I will just do a quick note with this one. And this is the, uh, just so you have this for reference, this is the S-7S. I don't love this one, uh, so I won't make a big deal out of it. Uh, and lastly, I just wanted to get into one thing which I was excited about, but I quickly realized my folly, and that is this uh, high tech C refill. It's called the uh, LHSRF 8C4L. Uh, it's a 0.4 millimeter. And uh, here it is, right here. You can see it's a needle tip, uh, and it looks like it would fit, it's exactly the right length. But here, I'll compare it to this S7, which we know fits. Sorry, I'll compare it with the BSP, which I know fits. And they're the same length, it's actually perfect there. But you can see the issue, and that, that these little wings are too high up on the uh, high tech C. You can see right here versus right here. So they're too high up there, so it doesn't play nicely with the Fisher. You'd see right here, I put it in, and that's how far it goes in by itself because the it's higher up, so the springs don't catch until this point, where ideally the spring would catch about like right here. So you could fix that by uh, putting a little bit of tape here, uh, you know, just like a one or two, maybe like two or three wraps with some uh, scotch tape or uh, masking tape, whatever you have. But uh, I didn't really want to get into too extensive of hacks right now. Usually I try to limit to just cutting, uh, but a little bit of tape will fix that. And then if you get that going, uh, you should be able to get it to right here. At that point, you'll have a nice needle tip in your space pen. I don't know if that's an ideal fit just because uh, these needle tips tend to be a little sensitive and it's really not great for you know everyday carry type use, but uh, it could look pretty cool as we could see here. And uh, you know, it'd be sort of interesting, I guess, really not, not an ideal fit from my perspective. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend grabbing an, one of these guys. This is again, the G301 throw that refill in here after a quick little cut and you have a Fisher space pen in bullet style. Perfect fit there. And gel refill. Obviously, so many people love this standard PR4. If you're gonna stick with ballpoint, I would say just stick with this one. There's no reason to really go over to this Platinum or uh, some of the other options, even the, even the Chronix. It, it's, you know, it's fine, it writes pretty well, but uh, I would definitely stick with the Zebra or the PR4. Uh, just closing out here uh, are those samples. Zebra looks great. Chronix is okay. Platinum is like fine. 
S7 is fine. If you want a ballpoint, stick with the PR4. Thanks for watching.